Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber Lodge, and I'm back at it today with an update on the Gen 3 Shield Arms S15 magazines. As you know, I was one of the first people to review them and post a review to YouTube, and I had some issues. Now, I've been in discussion with Shield Arms, and they requested that I send my pistol, my Glock 43X MOS, which was brand new, up to Montana, where they can actually do a 3D scan on the pistol to see exactly what was different about my Glock 43 XMOS versus the ones that they actually built the new Shield Arm magazines around. I'm gonna just let you know I have not received either the pistol back or the magazines back or an official statement with a findings report from Shield Arms. The current email or message that I received from Shield Arms goes like this. Went to the range on Wednesday, which was last week, we put a couple hundred rounds through it with various magazines. Now I sent my pistol back with the two shield arm magazines that they sent me. Um, so I'm sure they tested those mags and probably other ones. Uh, only malfunction was an override I had with a loose one hand grip, guessing the slide didn't cycle completely, which I actually had that when I was testing out the pistol with the OEM mags before I put the shield arms magazine catch into it as well as using the, the shield arm mags. It was just the OEM mag catch and the OEM, but I only had one out of 150 rounds and that pistol was brand new. So they're saying they didn't experience any of the issues that I was having in the video, which I had probably 15, 20 malfunctions out of five, 600 rounds where it was almost as if like the magazine started to dip down in the grip. And then for some reason, the slide was not able to push the round forward and it was getting it stuck. Now, um, they're supposed to be doing a 3D scan of my pistol, and in this next line he explains what's going on with that. He says, we've been working on a couple of machines this week, so we haven't had a chance to scan anything yet. So I'm still waiting for them to actually scan the pistol. I didn't notice, I, I did notice that it was pretty hard to eject a case by hand. You have to pop the slide back pretty hard to get the round to eject. And they also say, I did feel a slight hesitation going into battery, when hand cycling, I think we have a fix for that. So that was something that I definitely noticed if you go back and watch part two and part three of my videos where I'm testing out the Shield Arm S15 Gen 3 mags, you'll notice if I had a full mag, right? Like if I had 15 rounds in there and I would put it in, there was quite a few times where I'd go to rack it and it wouldn't want to rack. I'd have, I'd like pull it back, the slide would like start to go forward and then I'd have to like push up on the bottom of the mags and then it would, close the slide. Now, I've had some viewers question like, hey, are you accidentally pushing on the mag release button? Um, and, and if this was a brand new pistol to me, which it technically is because the, the 43X MOS I bought for the Gen 3 S15 mag reviews, but I've had my other 43X now for well over a year and it has a Shield Arms mag release button in it. That is my EDC right here and it is still using the Gen 2s. And I actually went back to the range over this last weekend and I just tried out the Gen 2s with my older 43X. I, I didn't have any issues. And, and this is a new experience for me with this pistol where the, the, the magazine feels like it's starting to drop out of the mag well a little bit, not fully disengage, but it's almost as if it's not seated correctly and it's, it's going down at an angle and in the slides just getting caught up on whatever round the follower is trying to push up and it just doesn't completely close the slide and put it correctly in the battery. So I will be interested to hear what Shield Arms has to say about this. You know, um, if, if once they do the scan, if it turns out that it's just my pistol, that's the issue. I mean, granted in part three of my video, you saw me actually take my older 43X, which runs their Gen 2s just fine, back to the range, and I tried the Gen 3s, and even this pistol was having the exact same issues. So, now, to be fair, Julio Barbosa, who won my, my two magazine and a mag catch giveaway, put uh, a couple hundred rounds through his 43X MOS the other day, and he messaged me saying, uh, Big Timber Lodge just got back from the range. 200 rounds through each magazine. 200 rounds through each magazine. Both ran flawlessly. But then again, my Gen 2s ran great as well, or also. Maybe I got lucky and got one of the good Glock frames, LOL. So that's that's a good question, right? Um, 
you know, so the two mags that I sent him, because he was the winner of the giveaway in the mag catch, worked perfectly for him with over 200 rounds in each magazine. So I told him to please keep reaching out to me if he ever experiences any sort of issues. I am looking forward to Shield Arms. Um, they, they, I told them, hey, if you guys are still looking into what the issue is and you haven't had a chance to scan the pistol, I'm not in a rush to get it back. I still have my other EDC, and therefore, uh, they're going to take their time with trying to diagnose what the problem is, and I hope they're going to be honest with me, and I know that I'm going to be honest with you because I look at these magazines as part of people's everyday carry setup, and this is a big deal. I don't want one of my viewers to think that something that I have on my channel is reliable in an everyday carry uh, situation if it's not really, in my personal opinion. Once again, I still haven't had a good experience with these Gen 3 S15s, so in my current state of mind, I'm saying hold off on using them as an EDC setup um, and stick with the Gen 2s if they work correctly in your pistol, or if you buy some of the new Gen 3s and you, like Julio Barbosa, are able to get them to run flawlessly, through your pistol and you feel comfortable but currently the big timber lodge um, thought on this until i get my pistol back from shield arms and actually get a an after action report is do not use them for edc so stick around make sure to hit the like button leave a comment it helps me in the algorithm and then also make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications youtube doesn't like my videos because they are firearms related and i'm a freedom thinker um, but also I just want to make sure that you guys can stay informed. So until next time, peace.